Hello again. For this video, I will be using your internal reward, Dead Ringer and Ambassador. Now, 2C3C, you might say. Why are you using the DR in a year? I thought you said this loadout was terrible. Well, random internet denizen, you're stupid for two reasons. First of all, I never said it was terrible. I said it wasn't very effective. It's probably about the same effectiveness as Kunai Cloak and Dagger, which is just ridiculous. Uh, I mean, you can make it work, but it's not going to work. And second of all, uh, that's completely irrelevant because I don't use my knife at any point in this video. I'm going completely gunslinger spy. Well, not gunslinger, but I'm slinging my gun, so to speak. And uh, I just get headshots and body shots and no backstabs or face stabs. I just use my dead ringer and my gun. I don't have a disguise. Uh, I don't have a knife. And I don't think I ever have to use my saber. So, uh, if you were clicking on this link, hoping for some year commentary, uh, I apologize, but that's not relevant at all. I'm doing purely headshots, or not purely headshots, uh, I'm trying for purely headshots, but as we all know that's pretty much impossible, so I'm doing the best I can. Now for the loadout, I'm using Ambassador for obvious reasons, it's pretty much the entire loadout. Uh, I'm using Dead Ringer instead of Invisibility Watch because I'm not interested in being effective and getting key picks, I'm just interested in improving my aim and uh, creating as many opportunities as possible. And for the uh, Your Eternal Reward, I'm using it because I don't want to disguise on, or I don't want to rely on disguises at all. Uh, I tried using the Spice Coal, but um, it was almost, it's almost too powerful with the DR. Uh, it's kind of hilarious watching Pyros not being able to kill you, but uh, I also was disguising too much, and I decided, hey, I'm just trying to be kind of counter strike -y. As you can see here, I do get a headshot, then another headshot, then another headshot. And if I could speak correctly, that would have been better. But um, I am just trying to... I'm just going for headshots. I'm not necessarily going for kills. Uh, I just got that medic. I was actually surprised by that. And I'm trying to lure that medic into a kill, which uh, ends up working. I peek out to see where the medic is. He's not there. I kind of assume that he's coming up to me, so I just shoot him in the face. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, with the Ambassador, you don't really have to worry about getting kills. I mean, I'll say this over and over again in this video, but as long as you get a headshot, then, I mean, 9 out of the, or 8 out of the 9 classes are lit, so they're in trouble already, and the Heavy just takes 3 headshots, which is fairly easy to get because he's slow. And as you can see right there, he was so slow that I jacked his health back from him and then pistol whipped him. And I hope he's very sad about that because he's dead and I have full health and I thought that was really hilarious but uh, I'm gonna speed this up really quick because this is a very long clip it's about 18 minutes and I'm trying to shorten it as best I can by taking out all the boring stuff like me dying in stupid ways now coming up here in a second uh, I'm just gonna be singing spawn for a few seconds I was typing to a steam friend and um, you'll see this again I think two or three more times so don't really think much of it. If it interrupts the flow of it, I'm sorry. Now, like I said before, I'm just trying to do damage. I'm um, just putting headshots into that heavy. I th think it's the same heavy, I'm not entirely sure. And I do try to get a awesome kill on that medic and miss completely, so... You know. I try, I fail. But life goes on. Uh, at this point, I'm just trying to see what I can do back here. Almost kill its heavy, but um, something I noticed that I didn't never really noticed before well, I guess I noticed it, but I not consciously. Uh, if you're getting shot, then it's, like, insanely hard to hit anything. And I... Really, my hit scan, scan aim is terrible. Uh, as you can see, I couldn't hit that heavy, even though he's a huge, huge target. Uh, for some reason, I just get very lucky with, um, kind of, I guess, vertical orientation of my crosshair, as opposed to horizontal, which I'm terrible at. So, when I hit people, uh, it's in the head usually, uh, but that's assuming that I actually hit people, so right here I just ignore the health and ammo to juke them and 
you can probably still hear them as I walk over here. They're shooting and spy checking corners and stuff, so that's a soldier and a heavy out of the mix for a while, trying to look for me, and I'm nowhere to be found. At this point, I'm just trying to get back to my team, uh, restock on everything, and uh, just see what I can do. Uh, I take out this pyro. I'm not sure if I saved that guy, but maybe. Kill a soldier, and then... Not quite headshot the heavy, but he does get sniped, so... That's about three people dead, and we're looking good. I try to snipe this medic, and I end up getting lit on fire, and then I make some stupid mistakes. I should not have instantly decloaked, and I should not have cloaked again. I should have killed that pyro, and I end up dying for both those mistakes. And it's all very embarrassing for me. Especially since it was Crusader's crossbow. If you do want to improve your aim, this actually helped me, I think. As I was playing with some of my friends, and they were remarking that I was hitting a lot more headshots. Sort of. They were crying about it, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so if you feel as though you need some improvement, then maybe you should look into this. Now, right here, I'm not doing so well at this angle, so I decided, hey, we should probably uh, get to a better angle. Uh, medic is wary for me, so I shoot him once and then bail to throw him off a bit. And then I pick up this sweet soldier kill and continue on my way. Uh, also, sweet pyro kill. That was actually a very good shot. At this point, I can't hit anything, so uh, as you can see, I do have my ups and downs, like within seconds of each other, so it's kind of... Uh, this practice for me is more of kind of increasing frequency of effectiveness rather than increasing effectiveness, so to speak. Because it's... Effectiveness is very binary with this weapon. Either you get the headshot or you don't. I juke this medic right here. Uh, you'll see me do this a couple times in this video. I'll decloak in, within earshot of somebody and then uh, take advantage of their reaction. Uh, I'm not taking advantage of this right now. He's kind of taking advantage of me, but... I'll decloak prematurely just to uh, cause somebody to chase me down, and I can abuse that. So, that's something that you can do with the DR that's actually pretty hilarious. Uh, kind of a reset right here for me. I pop my dead ringer, pick up health and ammo, and then I get back into the thick of things. I have a bit of a duel with the soldier here. Uh, his aim is kind of terrible, which is hilarious, but... That's irrelevant, because I still headshot him. And at this point, I'm really wishing that I could use my knife to uh, stab that demo, but... Of course I can't, because that would... ruin the point of this. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up, because... it is kind of a boring part, where I don't do anything... uh... of interest. I just kind of... DR, go into a corner, die... and, uh... among the other things. But... this is the reason why Air Blast is so strong, right here. And I'm not quite sure why you should use Extinguisher, because I was completely dead without it. So, unless you're fighting heavies, don't use Extinguisher. And now I can't think of anything to say. Alrighty! <laughs> Back into the game. Uh, I'm going to show you this part really quick and then continue fast forwarding. I thought this was hilarious. I was just barely, barely, barely within reach of air strafing to that. And then I just barely make it. Oh, one health left. I hope that pyro's mad. <laughs> but anyways, uh, continuing on. Uh, kill a heavy without any sort of headshot. Kind of embarrassing for both parties involved. And I just fail a bit before we get to anything of interest here. So I'm just going to shut up for a while and let you watch. Alrighty, now I'm going to put some pressure on their spawn because we st I can't really do anything up there. As you can tell, I wasn't being very effective. Um, I'm going to put down their medic very quick, and then I'm going to juke their pyro fairly well and get two headshots and two body shots to kill him. And uh, he did not beat the health back, but I denied him, him from the health back with death. So uh, I get a cool double headshot on this demo. 
if they're charging at you, they're very easy targets because their head is in one spot and it's getting bigger as it comes at you. Uh, so it's very funny to shoot them. They charge and then you shoot them again and they just fly. Their corpse just flies at you. It's very rewarding, actually. Uh, that medic is trying to... Th I'm actually pissing that medic off quite a bit, if you can hear from the voice. He's trying to get me and he actually comes up and melees me as I just try to put pressure out. I mean, that's all I'm trying to do. The kills are nice and everything, but uh, I'm really trying to get that pressure. Now, this is one of those instances where I said I just kind of do those uh, very aggressive decloaks to get a response, and uh, it pays off. I get a double headshot on the medic, and it's uh, kind of hilarious. Uh, that guy has very long reach because of the Persian Persuader, and I knew that, so I just got to safety instead of trying to go for the headshot. And uh, you'll actually see him again later in the exact same situation, oddly enough, but I actually get the kill that time, so uh, that'll come up in a bit, and I'll point it out. But uh, right now I'm kind of co-oping with this pyro behind enemy lines. Uh, I get the headshot, and I act as, dis act as a distraction, and he just comes in and scoops up the kill. Very easy. He has less than 100 health, and um, yeah. There we go with the other demo. I got two headshots that time, and a few body shots, and he's down. Same exact situation, which I found kind of uh, odd, but we're going to speed up here because I do get a fairly embarrassing death because the soldier was there where I was not expecting him. So once again, I'm just going to shut up for a while till we get to the interesting bit. Alrighty, here's another example of just putting pressure in, and that's all you have to do with this gun. Uh, I drop that heavy, 100 health, and the demo just scoops him up very easily, without issues, so... Uh, gonna speed it up again, because, you know, this is also very boring stuff. And, uh, that's about the end of the video. I'm gonna show you this awesome little sequence here, where I headshot a heavy, headshot a medic, and then headshot the heavy. The same heavy. Get a double kill and domination, and then die to a pyro. And, uh, yeah, that actually wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching Knifeless Spy, uh, which is actually my name, if you haven't noticed at this point. Uh, I was just trying to make it so that people wouldn't taunt me for being terrible, even though I'm obviously not using my knife at all. And, uh, that's the reason for that name. Uh, also, I'd like to thank, uh, Captain Surprise, uh, yeah. for actually giving me this hat that you'll see in a second. The Charmer's Chapeau, or whatever it is. Uh, it's my lucky headshot hat, and I thank him for that, and also just for being a good friend in general and talking to me about everything and anything. So, that wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, good night.